Hey guys, um, today I am back with another wig review for y'all. Um, and I'm um, sorry if I sound kind of nasally or if my voice sounds kind of weird. I do have a cold right now. Um, and I've also been kind of coughing a little bit. You know how that goes with like a cold. But anyway, I hope I don't do that throughout this video. Um, I'll try to not, you know, um, as best I can, you know. Um, but anyway, so this is Outre's Arabelle wig. And um, I have it in the color DR2 Creamy Toffee. Um, this is a 28 inch um, wig. It is a 13 by 6 um, lace parting that you get with the wig. Um, it's 400 degrees heat safe. This wig did come with um, some baby hairs, but I already cut those off um, just because I'm not really a baby hair person. Um, and yeah, this also says it is pre-plucked, pre-plucked hairline, and obviously you can go in and pluck more hair out if you need to or want to. Um, I have not done that. Um, I've not done a whole ton of customization, honestly, with this wig. I just um, used my curling wand to kind of flatten down the top, and I kind of went in with like, you know, my comb to make a straight middle part with this wig. Um, I did try to glue down my, um, this front <laughs> earlier, but I didn't allow the glue to, like, really dry properly, so, like, <laughs> it didn't actually, like, glue down all the way, and that's, like, my bad because I was rushing, um, but, yeah, um, I did use my, um, the Eben, I used the black can, that's, like, usually my go-to to glue down my lace, um, so this is what the parting space looks like. Hopefully my, it's not like showing. Okay, yeah, it looks all right. Um, so here is the parting space and um, the parting is really nice. I feel like obviously, and you can go, you know, obviously you can do a lot better job than I did. Um, and I will go in and do like a better job um, when I do wear this out, but um, of making those, you know, the line straighter and, Doing all that kind of customization, I will do. Um, but anyway, um, so this color, DR2 Creamy Toffee, I have never tried it from Outre. Um, I am, though, I'm really, really excited that I did try and branch out and try something different um, because I really like this color a lot. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful color blend in my opinion. Um, it is more of a like warmer tone blonde and it's typically not what I um, gravitate toward to be honest. I typically like to stay more neutral or like a cool tone that's like typically what I like. Um, but I still like this color and everything about this wig. I think that it is a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, <clears throat> the roots are like a, obviously if you guys can see it's like a light brown color and then it like it does fade into like you know the warmer blonde and you get like highlights all throughout the wig um yeah it's just a beautiful color um this style is like right up my alley as well <laughs> um i love long hair i love this kind of like curl pattern i love everything about this wig it's such a beautiful just overall look i feel like um I am 5'9", and this is like where the hair is like falling on me. So, um, yeah. Um, it is a tad bit thick in my opinion. I do feel like this density is kind of thicker. Um, let me pull all the hair to the front because I don't actually have all of it to the front. Yeah, see this is all the hair you're getting. Which is, it's a lot of hair, which I love. I love, love, love. I feel like you're getting your money's worth, especially too, um, with these like $50, $60 wigs. I feel like this is like absolutely worth it. Um, also the fact that it is a 13 by six, you can do like whatever kind of style that you want with this wig. Um, I do like that. I feel like it looks really realistic looking. Um, the only complaint I do feel like it's probably going to tangle up the more that I wear it. Um, I am not getting like a ton of tangling right now, but I feel like because of this length um, and the curl pattern and everything, I feel like it is going to tangle up. Um, and that's just from me wearing synthetic wigs a lot, you know. 
um, and just from having, you know, experience from wearing them. Um, but I do feel like if you have like silicone spray or anything like that and just maintaining your wigs, you can get longevity obviously out of your wigs, but um, yeah, um, just keep that in mind if you do wear this wig. And I may like, you know, try not to run my fingers through it as much as I can, like just kind of, um, just do like this whenever I, <laughs> or just keep my hands honestly out of it as much as I can too. I feel like that will help um, keep the longevity of this wig. Um, I am going to turn around and I want to show you guys like the back um, and all that kind of stuff, the 360 of the wig. Um, I'm also, I want to take this wig cap off and show you guys inside of the cap construction as well. Um, so as far as, and I don't have it glued down. I did try, like I said earlier, I did try to glue it down, but it didn't, the glue didn't get tacky enough or like, I didn't allow it to set, um, the way it's supposed to. But anyway, um, so, um, this is your cap construction that you get. You get your 13 by six lace. You get your two combs up in the front. You get a comb at the back of your nape of the neck with this wig. And then also this elastic band. I really like it. I feel like it is giving me that extra like security that I need or that I want to help the wig to stay on better. Um, I do really like it. Um, but yeah, um, and there is that up close, a little bit better for y'all. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, but yeah, I love this wig. I truly love it. I think it's a beautiful color, style. Um, everything about this wig is very, very beautiful in my opinion. Um, but yeah, um, that is all that I can think to mention about Arabelle. Um, I, think, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next wig review. Bye.